Hello, my name is Caesar, and this is the video number 9 in the naming series. In this series, I'm developing a naming convention manager uh, in Python so you can manage your naming convention uh, programmatically. Uh, okay, so in the previous video, we Yes, we uh, encapsulated uh, a rule. We define a rule a little bit better. So now we have this little class here uh, with all the logic uh, related to how the rule solve and parse a name. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, and before that, we did exactly the same with the token. So now the logic is kind of nicely encapsulated on its own objects. And if I run the test, everything is passing. So that's that's great. So today we're going to talk about serialization. Uh, by serialization, I mean a way to get the state of an object, of a rule or a token, and then be able to restore that state uh, in a new instance. So we basically want to be able to save to disk and load from this or from memory. Uh, so we are going to do serialization now and probably uh, we're going to do the disk thing in the next video. I don't know. We'll see how far we can go with this. So let's get started. Okay, so for the serialization, I want to start a new test case. So I will create a class here called serialization case. And this as unit test dot test case. Right, so the first thing is I want to test uh, the tokens. Tokens, and uh, this is uh, self, of course. So I want to create a token. So let me see if I can copy one from here. This is perfect. Cool. So I want to create a token like that. And let's call this token. Uh, so it has some configuration there and then I want to create a new token. So token2 will be equal to naming the token dot and I want to make it from that data. So let's say from data. Yeah. And we pass token one dot data, I guess. So this is, oops, it's token one. Token two is equal to, uh -huh. what's wrong with this? Okay. And then once we have the two tokens, I want to assert equal that a token one dot data is equal to token two dot data. So both share the same state, the same configuration if you want. So that seems useful. Uh, then I want to do the same with, uh, so let me token. Okay. So I can do like a, a, can I do that? Oops. Okay. So I want to add a rule. I probably have an add rule. Here's one. So that's rule one. I want to do exactly the same rule two from the data. Yes, so same test. Uh, that's nice. Uh, then, yeah, that's nice. Uh, the, ne the next thing I want to do is to make sure that that data, uh, the, the data coming from a rule is only uh, valid for another rule and another token. I don't want to mix them together. So let's call that test um, validation. Uh, so I'm going to pick this, pick that. Okay, token rule. Oops. 
add to I want to be sure that self dot assert is known when I do end dot uh, rule dot from data and I pass token dot data this fail and the same oh Jesus the same the other way around right if this is a token and this is a rule that also fail uh, so that don't even instantiate don't don't even give me an instance of a rule or a token okay and now now that I look at this it would be nice to have like a copy method that does this under the hood yeah well it's all right we can do it later so yeah that's that are my tests for now so if I run this of course everything fell uh, is this at full okay yeah looks good okay so let's implement that so as you can see uh, token and rules are very similar so instead of implementing that on each one, I'm going to create a new class here, call it serializable or something. And I'm going to use that here instead of the base class. So this would be serializable. Cool. So this needs a method called data. And also need a method called uh, from uh, data. But I want to make this a class method. So so a class method is like a normal method, but it receives uh, the class as first argument. Uh, so I like to use this as constructor. I usually use class methods as constructor. Okay, so data. Okay, one easy way to get the state of this object uh, is by returning the self dot underscore underscore dict. So these are very simple objects. It, it's only Python types inside of them. So I can totally do this. Um, and if we want to do be a little bit uh, safer, I can import copy. Because you know a dictionary is a mutable type, and I don't want to mutate the state when someone modifies this dictionary. So we can do a, like a deep copy of sorts. So now it's like an entire copy. And if anyone modified this data outside the class, uh, the class stay the same. Cool. So that should give me the state. And now for the from data. Uh, first, I need to create uh, an instance, so this is equal to CLS, and both classes ask for a name, so I will just pass none at the moment, and then I can say this dot underscore underscore dict underscore underscore dot update, and I pass in the data, and then I can return this. So that should do it, so let's uh, run the test. And we have one error, one fail. So the first error saying module object has no attribute rule. Okay. 181. Okay, that's not good. 181. So this should be is the class, right? So it should be like that. Let's try again. Boolean object has no attribute data. So it looks like at rule is returning a boolean which is not what we want and yes so this uh, should be the rule okay and if we run it now nice so we only have this file saying validation okay so we are not validating the data so how to validate that 
uh, there are many ways uh, I can say return value is equal to that and then I can add uh, like a class name uh, but I don't want name clashing so what I'm going to do is underscore serializable underscore class name so it's like an internal thing and this should be equal to the type of the instance that name so that's just a string with the name of the class and then we can do something very similar for the version which is also very useful to know which version of of the data this is so let's say like that and then here before doing anything we can say if data dot get uh, serializable it's underscore serializable I think underscore serializable uh, class name is different than a CLS dot name uh, return nothing none cool and then I don't want to store those so I want to delete those from the dictionary yeah and then do my thing so in order to do this I need to yeah, if this thing dot get that thing uh, is not known I can do that cool so let's uh, oh there's a bunch of errors so this is not okay this is data uh, yes so that's data and that is data cool so if I run this I have a lot of errors okay oh return right bar return value nice so now we're able to create a uh, save and load assets from memory for now so that's pretty much it uh, in the next video we are going to uh, use JSON probably to save this to disk so take this data save it to disk and load from disk right and and then set some kind of repository for for the naming convention rules so i hope you like it and see you in the next one bye bye